hey guys how are you doing god bless each and every one of you i welcome you all in the name of jesus how are you doing hope you're well and safe in today's video i'll be telling you five most important things to remove from your home the cost you set back without you knowing the cost you delay stagnations the cost you failure all those things that draw you back without you knowing you may actually be looking at them with your physical eyes and you may say oh it is nothing remember the spirit controls the physical and things take place in the spirit before the manifest in the physical okay so please stay tuned and don't click out if you see me for the first time you're most welcome my name is amanda and you're welcome to catholic reflection family a place of prayer this space is for you and i please come in and stay safe this is a very safe space for me okay you didn't meet me by accident you were meant to be here you were meant to pray with me and you were meant to see this video today so as to remove those things in your home that doesn't serve you well all right subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed turn on your bell notification you know the little bell turn it on the one that says all it notifies you whenever i go live i go live twice a day 6 30 a.m nigerian time and 9 p.m nigerian time every day all right come and join us and your life will not remain the same in the name of jesus amen this is a disclaimer i do not own an orphanage I don't direct people to any orphanage. If you want to give to anyone, look around you. There are orphanages around you. Please donate to them. All right. In case you mistakenly picked up a wrong WhatsApp number, I don't charge you a dime on WhatsApp to speak with you. And I don't do spiritual work for anyone. So please be careful. Do not fall victim. I don't introduce people to cryptocurrency or whatever. Please be very, very careful. God bless you. Please share this video. A lot of people need this. You need this. Your family members need this. Your friends and your well-wishers, they need this video. Please share. Thank you so much. Let's go back into the video. The number one thing that you need to remove from your home is clock that does not work. Either work clock our wristwatch anything that shows time that does not work that stops working please take it out from your home it is important to know the significance of time it is important to know this time clock shows prosperity in the realm of the spirit in fact when you have a dream when someone gifts you a clock my dear it shows prosperity it shows abundance it is really, really good. Imagine when it stops working. It means the blessings stopped. The breakthroughs stopped. It means you're stagnant. There is no movement in your life. There is no progress. No good thing comes, out, comes in. No good thing comes into your life because it is stagnated. Please, in one way or the other, it affects your life. Like I said before, the spirit controls the physical in a way that we don't understand. You know, most times we talk about forces. Sorry, we talk about forces. You may say, oh, um, I, I'm held by so many forces. You don't know where these forces are coming from. You don't know at all where the, the little things you ignore may actually be where these forces are coming from. This is what I do. When I feel I have an uptight environment, maybe something is wrong, I can't place hold of it. I calm down. I observe my environment. What happened? What did I let in? What is in my environment? What is the new thing I brought into my space? What is things that I need to remove? I just look around and see if... There are things that is when I've examined my life and I just check around my life to see if I brought in something, if I invited someone, if something happened that actually made this feeling because it's not a good feeling. If you are spiritually inclined, you will know that you will know this feeling I'm talking about, feeling that something is wrong, feeling that all is not well when it looks like doors are closing. Before doors close, you will know. 
it doesn't just close immediately there are signs that the doors have closed so that feeling that that door has closed when it's closing gradually you will know so before it closes entirely you look around you so try as much as possible to remove that work clock that has stopped working anything representing time time is important in the life of everyone anything representing time in your life that has stopped working please remove it and replace it with something active with an active time remove it and replace with an active time a time that is working do it and do it immediately you don't know what is going on in your life especially when it's in your home in your office in your store in your place of work in your business and you're saying business is not moving why will business move when the thing that represents prosperity stops working when it stops working okay so try as much as possible to remove it out of your space the next one is broken mirror a lot of people turn blind eyes on it once i hold the mirror it falls off and I, I i make sure i break it myself into pieces before throwing it away i don't just throw it away i smash it into pieces and i throw it away yes i am extremely spiritually conscious so i want you to also be conscious of your environment because a lot of things are happening if you lose up that pieces you may oh it's nothing you keep it when it gets to the wrong hands of someone, the little, even if it's the tiniest piece, and you have a part of it at home, is a means of manipulation. Is a means where um, strange spirits, they come through. Is a means that connect to you without you knowing. Without you knowing you've been watched. Without you knowing that there's a spirit hovering around you. That is an avenue they use to connect with you. So try as much as possible to take it out of your life it doesn't cost anything miro is miro I'm, I'm not sure it costs so much so try and remove it okay thank you the next one i'm going to talk about is broom that you've used for a long time you see this one of broom broom is actually a very good thing you use it to do what to sweep out negativity i'm going to talk about two types of broom or just one type of broom the one that chases away evil spirits yes i know some of you do not know there is this broom that when you use if your home is surrounded with strange spirits when you're sweeping it picks up negative energies yes if you live in the village you will know what i'm talking about you know this broom made from you know coconuts made from coconut tree i don't know what they call it that's coconut the branch of the coconut you know they use it to make three the one of palm tree they also use it to make broom the one of palm tree is not the one i'm talking about the regular broom people use is the one of palm tree the one i'm talking about is the one from coconuts yes if you're having any spiritual attack in your home if you feel there are negative, all sort of negative energies, use that broom to sweep your house. It picks up forces. Yes, it picks up negative energies. As you're sweeping, sweeping is a form of cleansing. Sweeping is extremely important. So that is why when you're sweeping, you sweep out those things. You sweep out the negative energies. You sweep out the negative forces. You sweep them out entirely. And don't use the broom too long because it has absorbed a lot of negativity. You try to trash it and pick up a new one. As you're using it, the potency tends to decrease. So don't use it for too long. Even if, I know these days, everything is modernized. We use um, vacuum cleaner, Abby, that's what they call it. Then we use, um, the, there is this modern broom that they use that is plastic. We use it, good. But try as much as possible to be using native broom. Native broom is important. Native broom spiritually cleanses your home native broom spiritually takes away negativity whichever one you're using 
either you're using a native broom or you're using this modern broom do not use it for so long don't use it some people use a broom for three years four years you're still using one broom no try to change at interval get a new one get a new one because what you're sweeping out you may not see them physically but it's absorbing those negative energies it's absorbing those problems you're having and you're sweeping them out i'm going to tell you more of broom and more of clock okay clock is important please i repeat again change that clock when someone gives you clock, it is good news. It is prosperity. When you position your clock in the northern, um, you know, you know they have east, west, north, and south. In the northern area, it tends to bring in opportunity, career opportunities. So when you have an office, when you have a space where you use for your work, try and position your clock, your work clock through the north so that it can bring you what? good opportunities then another one i'm going to talk about is cobwebs cobwebs and spider webs a lot of people ignore this cobwebs is not good cobwebs is not good cobwebs brings um, hindrances cobwebs bring negativity cobwebs brings failure let me tell you all the story of someone i know very well this lady was applying for a visa before she started applying for the visa before she started applying she has never had this encounter of cobwebs until the day she submitted her application guess what happened if she walks on the road cobwebs will hold her on the leg even in her own house cobwebs will hold her she'll wake up very early in the morning it goes it doesn't go anywhere just her leg she will feel like something is holding her on her leg those cobwebs it kept happening she cleaned her house she did everything she didn't know it was spiritual she cleaned her house just normal sweeping cleaned everywhere removed cobwebs and not it kept happening it kept happening until one day i said why don't you do a spiritual cleansing in your home meanwhile before she realized what was going on time was going and her application came out she was denied she was denied application immediately they said denied application she got the mail that cobweb stopped it stopped holding her on the leg she noticed it stopped then she put up another application again the cobweb started again she started noticing it everywhere she goes it will hold her leg especially in her house if she comes out in the morning it will hold her leg where people go to she's not the only one that lives in the house a lot of people she has siblings as they are going in and out that same place they pass through she will pass through it will hold her it does not hold her in any other place except her leg application was the application was denied up to three times until she was able to speak out normally she thought it was just an ordinary thing when she spoke out i said cleanse your home there is a spirit that is in form of a cobwebs holding you back there is a spirit holding you back the meaning of that thing is it's holding your leg so as not to move because when your visa is approved you're going to move it's holding you so as not to move so that you don't progress so that you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve so that you'll be stagnated where you are that is why that cobwebs is holding you on your leg it doesn't hold on the hand it doesn't touch any other person except her until she was able to do that and did her first application she was approved so what am i saying don't say oh it is nothing it is something take it out from your house don't let it if you feel it if you see even the tiniest um spider web take it out immediately don't let it stay in your house it causes you damages it causes you setback it causes you delay it stagnates your life so do not let it stay in your home it is not good. Then the fifth one I'm going to talk about is war gecko. You see that thing called war gecko? You think it is normal. 
it is an agent that comes to listen to you and reports back. It is an agent, Wargeko. It is an agent that comes to observe what is going on in your life so as to report back to the sender. Don't spare it. Whenever you see the signs, take them out immediately. Don't say, oh, nothing is nothing. It is something. Don't say, oh, I don't know. I will ignore it. It's been here forever. It's something. Take them out. Cleanse your home. Normalize cleansing your home every week or every month. Normalize cleansing your home. There are people that say, I don't believe in it. What do you not believe in? Just put a little water, a little salt in water. Sprinkle it around your home. The way you mop your house. You can even put your olive oil into your bucket of water as you're mopping your house. As you're mopping, you pray and mop your house. Do not ignore all the spiritual forces. Tomorrow you wake up and ask what is wrong with you. You complain nothing is working. You complain it looks like all road is blocked. Why there are things going on in your home and you ignore them? You call them nothing. Why these things are something? These are the reasons why you're stagnated. These are some of the reasons why nothing is working for you. These are some of the reasons why your life is held at a standstill. Try as much as possible to remove these things and see how progressful your life becomes. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you've watched up until this time, please share this video. A lot of people need to get it. Share and share and share. Click the share button. Don't keep it all to yourself. Share to people the need to know, the need to be aware. Because I know these things are in so many people's homes, but they don't know. Share it out and do not forget to like the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you all during the live stream by 9 p.m. Nigerian time and 6.30 a.m. Nigerian time. Stay safe and God bless you. When you come to my live stream, if it is your first time, please indicate. Tell me this is your first time so I can sing for you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Have a fruitful day ahead of you and stay blessed. I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless you.